Now let's review some of the terminology related to machine learning. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what the feature is and how it relates to a sample, name some alternative terms for feature, and summarize how a categorical feature differs from a numerical feature. Before we delve into the methods for processing and analyzing data, let's first start with defining some of the terms used to describe data, starting samples and variables. A sample is an instance or example of an entity in your data. This is typically a row in your data set. This figure shows part of a data set of values related to weather. Each row is a sample representing weather data for a particular day. The table in the figure shows four samples of weather data, each for a different day. In this table, each sample has five values associated to it. These values are different information pieces about that sample, like the sample date, minimum temperature, maximum temperature, and rainfall on that date. We call these different values variables of the sample, and sometimes refer to them as features of the sample. In fact, there are many names for samples and variables, some of which we've already used in some of our previous weeks. Some other terms for sample that you might hear in the machine learning context are record, example, row, instance, and observation, among many others. It is good to know that all of these terms mean the same thing in the machine learning context. That is, they all refer to a specific example of an entity in your data set. Similarly, there are many names for variables in addition to feature. Some other terms uh, for variable are feature, column, dimension, attribute, and field. All of these terms refer to the same uh, specific characteristics for each sample in your data set. An important point to emphasize about variables is that they are digital values with a type. Each variable has a data type associated with it. The most common data types are numeric and categorical. There are other data types as well, such as string and date, but we will focus on uh, more common data types of numeric and categorical in the context of data mining. As the name implies, numeric variables are variables that take on numbers. They can be measured, and their values can be sorted uh, in order in some way. Note that a numeric variable can take on just integer values or be continuous valued. It can also have just positive numbers, negative numbers, or both. A variable with labels, names, or categories for values instead of numbers are called categorical variables. For example, a variable that describes the color of an item, such as the color of a car, can have values such as red, silver, blue, and black. These are non-numeric values that describe some quality or characteristics of an entity. These values can be thought of as names or labels that can be sorted into categories. Therefore, categorical variables are also referred to as qualitative variables or nominal variables. To summarize, a sample is an instance or example of an entity in your data. A variable captures specific characteristics of each entity. So a sample has many variables to describe it. Data from real applications are often multidimensional, meaning that there are many dimensions or variables describing each sample. Each variable has a data type associated with it, and the most common data types are numeric and categorical. Note that there are many terms to describe these data-related concepts, and you find likely find that different references, textbooks, and data scientists use many of these interchangeably.